Now, this is like our capital markets <laughs> analyst, Dan Ives, because he's sitting here, and I, you know, we won't let him talk till we say his name. Um, <laughs> Dan, <here. laughs> please jump in. What's your take on this? You could have an opinion. Yeah, I mean, look, for Apple, I mean, I view this as a huge prove me quarter, and there was a lot of white knuckles going into the yeah. quarter in terms of them lowering guidance for December. Mm -hmm. Instead, it was in line. And right now, for Apple, it's prove me situation, but I view this as a step in the right direction as everyone looks toward new streaming, watching as well as really the mm -hmm. iPhone 7. But in terms of iPhone 6, I think growth is showing year-over-year -year improvement, which is really the knife fight on the street. And now it comes down to China, grew 100%. I think the bark was worse than the bite there. And, and that's what you're seeing with the stock last night. I mean, it was up 3% flat. Ultimately, I view this as a step, and now the stock moves higher um, going forward. Well, Why? you're super negative, dude. You better you go Well, it's not just fan. me. The market. I mean, the market doesn't like this stock. I mean, we've seen sure. Google, Microsoft, Microsoft, other big cap stocks with much higher growth rates. You know, now the headline to me how is is about the bar. It's almost like the you know the the, the I don't know how you'd call it. It's kind of like the like an um, Everest like like an Everest like bar that they've set with iPhone mm -hmm. 6. Yeah, I mean, but, but it's only he's saying well we could grow against the mother of all yep. comps. I mean, do they have to grow five, ten percent to get a multiple again, or do they just have to not not slow? Yeah, I think that's the key point. If you look at the double-digit growth, high single-digit, forget currency, now it's about can they show year-over-year -year growth, can success right. be the bridge yeah. to the iPhone 7, as well as what you've seen on gross margins, and can some of these new products, watch, streaming, we believe streaming TV comes out 2016, right. can they start to put more fires or gasoline in the engine to show growth? That's right. really at eight times X cash, but just right. like you're saying, you cannot compare the Apple to pre iPhone 6. No, no. This is this right. is like um, you know, it's like the, the, the bad bad quote by Bush, but it's the soft bigotry of low expectations here. I mean, we're talking about a, what used to be a growth stock, now we're just hoping that they don't slow to no growth. I mean, on the iPhone. And if they do, then you're going to see a stock that goes down and you're saying if they don't, well, the stock's going to go well, up. Well, I think it's a transitionary period they're going through. Yeah. I think it really comes down to like the next big bang and, and hey. it's really iPhone 7. It That's is. the but really focus. They still, like, in the quarter, like, the average selling price still went up, which is yeah. hugely beneficial. That's huge. And, that, and, and these are all points that, just to Keith's point, like, this is going to be a prove me situation. But when you look at iPhone 7, you look at China, you look at what's happened on growth, you look at a bipolar tech spending environment, Apple doesn't need to do a lot here for the stock to get re-rated slowly higher, but to see them break new highs, you got to believe in the iPhone 7. Yep. You got to believe in Where streaming. Where does the analyst community fall in here, Joe? I mean, are they still optimistic on Apple at this point? Yeah, yeah largely big so. Big time. A lot of people are big believers in Apple, and part of the reason why, at least for the next year, is if you look at what Tim Cook said on the call yesterday, he said, look, there's still about two-thirds of the people from 2014 who have not upgraded to the iPhone 6 or even 6 S yet. So there's a lot of runway for making a lot more I, money in the coming I year. Speaking of money, expectations. I, yeah, you're way more. Oh, oh, I don't even know if I'd hold that up. Because that's like holding. That was a little embarrassing. Dude, that's Man, like holding up really. like a Nokia from uh, set from It still like works. Four. What do you do with this cash, Dan? Do you have a, a good bet about how yeah, the price and, and that's almost been overhang here. And you've seen with Icon talking about, you know, right. kind of repatriate. That's the issue here. I mean, for coming 200 billion plus of yeah. cash. It's almost been overhang on the stock, and that's why until there's a change from a tax law perspective or some tax holiday, I don't really see that changing too much instead of acquisitions. But that's why when you think about repatriation, Apple's front and center, just given the $200 billion. All right, Dan Ives, great to get your take. And, great Joe, thanks for bringing us this thanks. story. Thanks.